beautiful friends and welcome to your weekly horoscope for the week of April 13th. I hope that whatever you're doing out there, wherever you're at, if you're quarantined alone together, you're essential, whatever you're doing, wherever you're at this week, I hope you're doing well. I'm sending you lots of love, a lot of gratitude, appreciation, and thank you for spending some time with me. This week is an interesting week. We've got a couple aspects that happen um, this week that actually set the tone for much of our entire week. And then the sun will also move into the energy of Taurus at the end of the week. Now, before we officially jump into that, I want to talk just very quickly about Venus and still being out of bounds. I got a couple questions and videos last week about Venus being out of bounds and what does that mean? So whenever a planet goes out of bounds, it is essentially changing the space of its declination. So, and that's a whole other video, but essentially what that means is that that planet and whatever they're around, whatever their resources are, whatever they bring into your, your life, instead of being able to look in your normal circles to find the information, to find the value of those things, you have to look out of your bounds. You have to look out of your normal placements. With Venus being out of bounds, it means finding romance, finding value, finding self-esteem, finding money, finding your creative talents. You have to look outside of your own normal bounds. So you're maybe checking out something in a, in a much different way. It's in the energy of Gemini. So perhaps you're even learning something or you're going back to learning something that you had started before, but you're having to go out of your bounds to be able to do that. So when a planet is out of bounds, it just means we're not going to find solutions, answers, or information in the normal places or in the normal ways that we are able to do that regularly okay now this week let's talk about what's going on up there in the sky so first and foremost we've got the Sun actually creating these two interactions this week that are they're big it can be a little bit of a trying energy so in the beginning of the week on Tuesday the 14th the Sun is going to come into a square with Pluto. Now, Sun square Pluto. First and foremost, I do want to tell you that this can be an energy that is driven. It is driven. It is powerful. It is an energy where your ego can definitely get in the way because what's happening ultimately is there's a little bit of a power struggle happening here. There's this kind of battle for control happening a little bit. So it can bring up challenges for you where you're feeling like maybe you're even you're, you're push your backs against the wall and you're having to make some decisions. You're trying to shine and be motivated with that airy sun, but then you're also square. You're being pushed on by this Pluto that is um, inducing change into your life or trying to Phoenix you or it's very intense kind of energy. So some ways that you could be experiencing this earlier in the week is that definitely you could have some psychological things come up. I mean, we're in an interesting time in the world energy. Uh, so you could you could see psychological things coming up for you. Something gets triggered from before, something like that. But ultimately, even though this is a square, I really do like to celebrate the square energies because squares, even though they bring a fair amount of tension to the table, they do make us move. They do make us take action to get out from underneath the square. Now, what is the intensity going to be of that? I can't tell you exactly, but what I can tell you is you have the opportunity to gain a fair amount of consciousness around what it is that you need to let go of. Why are you having this power struggle? You Maybe you're holding on to something that the universe is trying to take from you because it doesn't belong there anymore. So you'll have to keep me posted in the comment section down below as to how this is actually managed manifesting in your life. But the other beautiful part about this is that I feel like if you will channel this Sun Pluto square into something productive, something that is going towards where you'd like to be successful, you can drive that intensity right towards it, okay? Now, as we continue to move down the week, we see the sun coming into a square with Jupiter as well. Now, sun square Jupiter can make it so that you, you, you're asking for too much or you're, there's an overreaching that's happening, right? It's like, yeah, I think I can do this and you're promising more than you can deliver. Um, there is just an 
resounding sense of an overreaching. So then you have this Sun-Pluto energy that's come together and we're kind of pushing. We've got a little power struggle going on. And then we've got Sun-Jupiter over here and I'm, I'm trying to reach really far or I'm trying to, things get exacerbated, right? It's just very, very big. So this is an energy this week that we do want to be mindful of, especially, especially in our personal lives. Because both of these aspects can bring a little bit of challenge into our personal lives in general. So we want to be mindful of how we're using them this week. Instead, I think in instead of having to get into quarrels or take this someplace negative, I always think that there's something positive that you can do with that. Sun in Aries is like, this is my identity. This is how I do things. This is what I believe of myself. We've got Jupiter over here in Capricorn. And as they're squaring each other, you may just be needing to take on your own systems of belief, right? You may be going, well, wait a minute. I need to relook at this structure, but you're feeling pushed to do that. And it also doesn't mean that you need to take that energy and blow your entire system completely out of the water. Maybe you just need to make some smaller changes along the way, okay? So keep that in mind. It doesn't have to be all eaten in one big bite. Now, as we we come towards the end of the week and we get to April 19th, we see the sun moving into the energy of Taurus. So happy, happy birthday, early Taurus that'll be celebrating some birthday time, but it is Taurus season, that's for sure. And as the sun, which brings light, heat, life, and vitality comes into the energy of Taurus, we want to do Taurus things. Get your feet into the earth. Even if you are in quarantine, if you can go outside for just a few minutes in your backyard or just get your toes out on your deck or someplace, let your body feel the earth and the elements around it. You might find places where you've been a little bit stubborn. You may find that you've got some stubborn body fat going on and you may be wondering, what am I gonna do about that next? But it's also a time of art, delicious food, feeling nice, taking care of your body, giving yourself a nice little self massage, things like this that are gonna bring up the level of value, bring up the level of beauty, but they also put a very big impact in your material world because Taurus is an earth sign. So we do things in the material world. Great week for gardening, great week for art, great week for making beauty, great week for doing your hair just because you're gonna do your hair. Whatever it is, bring in these delicious, earthy Taurus qualities to your table. And it's the sign for the next four weeks that this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna deal with this bull Taurus energy for the next four weeks, okay? All right, you guys, I look forward to hearing how you're doing, what you're doing. This is going to be an interesting week with these two squares happening. Um, internationally and nationally. This is a power struggle kind of energy. We've still got Neptune over here in Pisces, so we've got some information that is still a little bit not clear. On the good foot, Mercury has moved into Aries, so we do have different information about things that are happening, not only in our personal lives, but in the world as well. So let's keep an eye on what's happening this week. Please let me know exactly what's happening for you. And every day on Facebook and Instagram, I'm also keeping you updated on things that are happening up in the sky, okay? All right, you guys like this video, comment, share, subscribe. I think I said that already, but just in case, definitely give the video a thumbs up. It helps the channel and I will see you guys next week. Bye everyone.